I'm here to talk to the teenagers who are used to hearing the phrase, you can do that when you grow up. I congratulate you on being ambitious, but you don't have to wait to grow up to pursue your ambitions. My pursuit started when I was 12, when an amazing thing happened to me that changed the course of my life. I learned to program. Programming became my hobby and my obsession. My parents would worry about me because I would spend hours on end staring at my computer screen, absorbed in my latest programming adventure. I learned everything I needed to know from online forums, tutorials, and blogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stack Overflow was one website that was particularly helpful as I learned to program. Stack Overflow is a question and answer based site where thousands of expert programmers wait eagerly to answer questions from novices. Learning a program without Stack Overflow would be like studying for a test without the textbook. Wikipedia, the behemoth of information that seems to have a page on every topic imaginable, also helped me along the way. I read about processor architectures, programming paradigms, and algorithms. These resources, which would have been unimaginable just a few decades ago, are now accessible to anyone with a computer and an internet connection. Before I continue with my story, let's look back in time to the famous Renaissance man, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was self-taught in many subjects, including mathematics, music, anatomy, geology, botany, and cartography, just to name a few. He learned mostly from books and occasionally studied under experts. We can see in his sketches that his combination of an active imagination and a vast and diverse body of knowledge led to many inventions. His famous flying machines, an early tank design, a device to concentrate solar power, and even a primitive calculator. Unfortunately, he never published much of his work in his own time, so it is only because of these sketches that we know about them today. His intellectual contemporaries never benefited from his designs. Now, imagine what an autodidactic genius like Leonardo da Vinci could accomplish if, instead of learning from scattered books and treatises, had access to the internet, basically the entire body of human knowledge. Imagine what he could have contributed to mathematics, science, and engineering if, instead of leaving his sketches unseen for centuries, he published them to a global audience at the click of a button. This is the world that we live in today. My biggest project began when I, in 2012, when my dad bought the electric car, the Tesla Model S. In the world of cars, the Tesla Model S is an anomaly. It doesn't use gas, it doesn't have an engine, it doesn't even have gears. Instead, it has a battery, a motor, and 400 horsepower. We learned pretty quickly that driving an electric car isn't quite like driving a gasoline car. If you're on a road trip and run out of power, you can't just stop at the nearest gas station. You're stuck. You have to call a tow truck to take the car to the nearest charger so you can charge back up. To make a road trip like this successfully and worry-free, you have to know how much energy it takes to get from point A to point B. When my dad first bought the car in 2012, there was no tool to do this effectively. Even the car's built-in range remaining meter was woefully inaccurate. It only took into account how much energy was in the battery and how far that would get you if you were driving on flat ground at 65 miles an hour with no wind. My brother and I decided to improve the algorithm using our knowledge of physics. We incorporated predictions based on upcoming wind conditions, weather conditions, hills, and the driver's driving style. I turned this algorithm into a website to help owners of electric vehicles, or EVs, plan road trips. We dubbed the website EV Trip Planner. To use EV Trip Planner, pictured here, a Tesla driver would go to the site, enter their starting point and destination, and EV Trip Planner would show them the charters along the route and how much energy it takes to get from one to the next. Imagine Google Maps, but designed with electric vehicles in mind. Usage of the site exploded when my dad mentioned it on a few online forums. EV Trip Planner started to advertise itself as people would read about the site, use it, love it, and post about it again on other forums, perpetuating the cycle. Seemingly overnight, thousands of people from all over the world were using the site. As you can see in this map, the reach of EV Trip Planner extends far beyond the United States. I receive emails on a weekly basis from people in Norway, Sweden, Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, Canada, and other countries around the world, requesting features, reporting bugs, or sometimes just thanking me for creating the site. 
it has opened my eyes to how many people across the map I can reach with something I tinker together on weekends. Even in the past year, since I added a donate button to the site, users have contributed $10,000 in donations. And in the past few weeks, Tesla, the Tesla Motor Company, who manufactures the car, contacted me about doing a summer internship. I never dreamed that any of this would happen when I started EV Trip Planner, but my adventure is far from over. EV Trip Planner was made possible by the online forums, tutorials, and blogs that I used to learn to program. My epiphany is that EV Trip Planner is not an isolated case. Young entrepreneurs around the world are starting their ventures earlier and earlier because the barriers to innovation are disappearing. EV Trip Planner is the result of an ongoing revolution in how we live, learn, and create. We live in a time where the sum of human knowledge is accessible with a few keystrokes. The technologies which will shape the years to come are within reach of you, the people who will define those decades. If you have a dream, you don't have to wait to be older and wiser. If you have a dream, it is your time to seize it.